What's up, Dark Horse? I'm glad you're here. You look like a man who would appreciate the opportunity of a lifetime. Wouldn't everybody appreciate the opportunity of a lifetime? I don't know. I haven't asked everybody. Fair enough. Okay. So what's the opportunity? This has got everything. Exotic locale, untold riches, once-in-a-lifetime experiences, and everything is for a really important cause. Any one of those things by itself will probably be enough to say yes. Yeah, that almost sounds too good to be true. That's because it is. Most of that stuff I just made up. I was trying to spark your interest, but I am offering you a chance to help an important cause. All you have to do is come to SmackDown in Wisconsin a day early and do a charity match to help a great organization that helps find seeing-eyed people to care for blind dogs. You sure that's right? Usually the people are blind. Blind people and blind dogs? I guess they could bond over their shared experience, but no one's gonna know where they're going. We better get up there fast. You in? Yeah. I'm sure whatever this cause really is, it helps someone who needs it. An extra day of travel for a good cause? Hmm. What could go wrong? Oh, lots of stuff. Flat tire? You could forget to pack your underwear, could run out of gas, but we're taking the plane. I always remind the pilots to fill up, and I'm almost positive they sell underwear in Wisconsin. So I think we're good. See you there. Sounds good, Truth. Man. The snow really coming down out there, huh? Yeah. So, what happened to the charity match? Don't you remember we were just talking about the snow coming down? Only an idiot would travel in this weather. None of the dogs or the people could make it. We've got SmackDown in a couple of hours, and there's only a couple of other wrestlers here. We won't even have a crowd tonight. I know. Troy just texted. He and Miz are stuck in Chicago. I'm not sure when they might get here. That's what I was afraid of. Sounds like we have no choice but to fall back onto the line of secession. And as the longest tenured locker room member and fifth in line to run things, I am in acting protocol 48 and naming myself acting GM. What are you talking about? Protocol 48? Did, did you just make that up? Yes, but as my first order of business as acting GM, I'm writing Protocol 48, which names the acting GM in charge of everything. I had a strange feeling this was going to happen when I heard Miz was stuck in Chicago. So I went ahead and pulled the locker room, and everyone agreed they really wanted title shots. I bet they did. I guess part of being in charge is saying no. Why would I say no? I can't look like I'm playing favorites on my first day on the job. I run a democratic administration, and the people have voted. What? I fly in early to help you in some charity out, and this is the thanks I get? Charity isn't about what you get. It's about what you give. And first up, you be giving Robert Rude a title shot. And since everyone is trying to dig their way out of the snow, it's going to be a shovels match. By the way, how do you think I'm doing so far as GM? I think this will be one of the most amazingly bad situations in the history of WWE. I stopped listening at amazing. Good luck out there, champ. The following is scheduled for one fall and is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship!
prepare for a truly glorious arrival. A champion in NXT and WWE, no one else as glorious. Ready to make some noise in this silent arena, the Dark Horse. Introducing the challenger from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, the glorious Robert Roode. And his opponent from New York, weighing in at 220 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Dark Horse! That's what it's all about, the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The WWE Universe knows all about the history, the lineage, everything that goes into the importance of this match. Mother Nature may have silenced the crowd, but the roar of champions will echo in the arena as interim GM R-Truth has deemed every match tonight will be a title showdown. And we're kicking it off with a shovels match? It's really too bad we're the only ones to see this live. They should make the loser clear the sidewalk outside so we can actually get some fans in here to enjoy this. And we might be seeing a competitor crumbling before our very eyes. Counter after counter. All right, back to it. Returning to the ring. Nice takedown. And quick getting the arm up. He is still very much in this. And a Oof. stomp to the gut, too. Attack after attack is smothering Robert. Rude needs to find a spark. Stomping. Ouch. Ooh, harsh kick. Roundhouse on the mark. Both arms captured, and vitriolic stomps. Just stomping every single part of his body. And if the first stomp doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. Oh, kick right to the back. Oh. Hit the ropes. Oh, running knee strike. Ooh. It's a revolving door of forearms. To the face. What a redirect. Oh, effective body blow. He now just looks helpless to every attack. He's just on the wrong side of every maneuver. Wow! He knew that was coming. Perched on the shoulders. Oh! oh. Feast your eyes. A championship Makes the cover. level move. Two. That's three. And the champ stands tall once again. Here is your winner. And Steve! 